How to make a basic web page in a Bootstrap Studio. So here we have our um, open and we're going to create a new design. And I'm going to call this my site. And again with the blank and we just put create. So there you are, have it open. And uh, this is basically a generic uh, website that I'm going to do. And uh, it's just going to be as easy as possible. So what we're going to do is going to go to nav bar at the top and we'll just pop that in there. And what I've noticed in Bootstrap Studio that there is a slight bug. Well, it's a big bug actually in rows. So what I'm going to do is you can do container uh, for uh, what, I'm going to, what I'm about to do. You can just put a container in there. But I don't want to do that. I'm going to, I'm going to use uh, columns which I'll find more useful. And a tip that I would like to share with this is use lots of columns because if you don't, it tends to uh, get a little bit weird in the way the, the website works. And, and if you have two different sections, the left and the right panels, or if you've got a, a three uh, panels on your page or whatever like that, it's, it's going to be very difficult to um, how can I explain this how to, to really like sort of get them without the, the page going here way anyway so what, what I suggest doing with this is duplicate these and say have probably more than that you need um, so what you're going to do is have a footer uh, something uh, lots and lots of columns when you don't need them, you can just delete them at the end. And this is uh, something that I had problems with trying to do a site myself with this. So what I mean is here, for example, we have a 12 grid system, like I've said on other videos, which is basically what uh, foundation bootstrap and wireframes are. So we're going to put this into seven. Uh, so seven, and we're going to do this is uh, the next empty column is going to be four and there we have it so they're going to the, the this is why you need uh, lots of columns because if you're using this trust me on this it goes here way if you don't have lots of columns already or more columns than you need you can always delete them at the end anyway so we're just going to move that over to the right hand side there so there's plenty of space in this we're just going to go and put your normal header uh, and just have that there and we're just going to align that. So we'll go to the right hand side where it says default, that's it to the left. And we're just going to pop that into the center. And we will do the same basically with the right column here. So here we are, pop that in and again, uh, default and we'll just go to center. So that's how, how that's going to work. So we can just call this something like uh about about us i'm not going to do anything with the nav bar i've i've said about that in the other video if you have uh, any problems just ask uh of how to use this um and i'll go and i'll put the the link to where that is on the other head and here you could have things like news items or testimonials about your site if it's a profile page or um portfolio and on this, we're just going to put, I'm just going to put news. So you can put whatever you want. Uh, and then on here with where it's about us, I'm just going to put in paragraphs. So here, if you, if you notice, um, on there is little arrows. So there, these little arrows are where you can actually pop in your, when you drag and drop, this is where you can do them. So there you go. There's a paragraph. And in this, I'm actually going to put some CSS with this because it's very, very small that. So any um, paragraph is just going to be a little bit uh, font size as I'm going to put there at 14, uh, 14 point and there you go. So it's a slightly bigger than uh, what the default is there. And it looks like Bootstrap's on a problem with that anyway. So we edit this and I've got lorem ipsum here, and so you can put it in wherever you like. 
but I'm just going to do this as a demonstration. And another little bug on here is the copy and paste. So you have to go Control V, and that's there's these ones too. I've actually told uh, Bootstrap Studio about this uh, about this bug. I don't know what they're going to do about it, but anyway. Um, apart from these little bugs and things that they have, this is this is a very good program, I think. Anyway, we want to see how this is all um, panning out. So we just look at this on the on the browser, and uh, we open the browser again. Mine's Chrome, um, and this is what it looks like. It's a little bit to the left, I would say, on there. Uh, so here we just put an padding I'm going to put pattern left uh, maybe it's 2% and of course you can do anything you want there's all, all sorts of variations on this type of thing so yeah, it's looking pretty pretty decent there on the news item again you can put things like um, testimonials this is just again a demonstration of what you can do Put block quotes there, so you just get your block quote, and again, where that little arrow is and the blue line, just pop in there, and we can have another one. See if this is a portfolio page um, for your work, whatever that may be. This is just, uh, oops, that's just gone a bit haywire there. Um, just, uh, just want to be aware. There we go. So this little this live view is is very good. If you want to do something like putting in a picture, just import a picture, import image. I've got this little image, and I'm going to pop it pop it into anywhere on the about us. Okay, so that's there. I'll just get that there. I'm going to put this as it's uh, actually about uh, beer. It's uh, Tutley, and I'm going to call this BA as an ID. I know you can call it whatever you want, and here it is. And I'm just going to put that float left, and there it does that. And also padding, uh, I'm going to put that 3%. There you go. So there's plenty of room around that, and it looks, it looks better. You can have your images as big or small as you want, on these things uh, so basically this is what our site and it's starting to look pretty decent um, again I, th I don't know if it's a bug or, or whatever but this can be your your footer for example so uh, we can put in things like um, you know your Facebook or perhaps your Twitter accounts or Pinterest whatever and the way we do this is we go to something called icon and we pop an icon here, and there it is there. It's very, very small. So what we do, we would just click this on the right-hand side. So I'll just do that again. On the right-hand side, this comes up there. And we just click that once, and then that comes up, and it's called Glyph, Glypher Icons. And there's also a Font Awesome there. So we go to Font Awesome, and we look for, we in the search for icons here, it, this is a really good uh, little touch by Bootstrap Studio, and we go on Facebook. If I can spell it, and we just go for this one here, and we press OK. Um, and with that, we can put in our create style there, and we can put again font size, which I'll, I prefer using these as XX large. So there you go, there's your, your thing there. So again, maybe you want another one. Uh, you could probably duplicate that. And what you would get with that is, uh, we'll look for Twitter. And these are just the usual ones that you get with um, your social media icons. And we just go and make that a little bit bigger. So that is again a font size and XX large. This is the way I like them. And again, you can do this with Pinterest and all the rest of it. But what you need is uh, some uh, padding 
I'm going to put pattern right on this. Again, you can do whatever you want. And I'm going to put 2% um, uh, on that one. And there you go. Uh, and I'm also going to put padding. You'll probably just be able to do. Oops, made a bit of an error on that one. Uh, I'll just go back to this and not put pattern right and just put pattern. There you go. So that looks a bit better. There we go. So that's basically what we have. You can put uh, whatever um, colors and everything like that you want. So here we have just your basic uh, web page. Got your nav bar at the top. You got your lorem ipsum, which paragraphs you want. We've also got things like uh, block quotes there. You can have, again, paragraphs. You can have lists. You can have anything you want. And you've got your social media icons at the bottom. This works again, like uh, like so. When you've got this, you've got your, um, your hamburger thing. And it goes down, and everything there is responsive design. It looks quite nice for a little little website, little basic website. Again, um, you can have things like, we just go to the body. Uh, well, before that, you can have themes, you can have things like, uh, darkly and uh, choose that and there's your this is what this should look like and there you have your uh, site which is bootstrap themes uh, you can have your own though you know uh, like so for example if you've got that there we, we can change the, um, the nav bar color on that so we just go to this and uh, we just have a look at this and then we can have background color and we can just put in something like quite dark as well just to go in with the theme and then we have that it's, uh, so that's how it looks and I personally wouldn't have this uh, writing that stands out like that on, on the website uh, that I would be doing but that's just a basic of what you can do and of course you can change all this color you can change the body body color to uh, whatever you want um, background color again you can you can just say that uh, for example uh, uh, five five oops say I can't use that one just a minute that's stuck so sorry about that we'll do with that again and we go body color and we'll try three 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 which is quite dark but looks quite good too so that's basically um how you build your web pages in bootstrap studio so any questions you've got and uh, only too happy to answer them so thanks for watching and thanks for listening